I trust you, car. Here we go. Hey guys, Trev here, and today we're gonna to be talking about Tesla's auto park feature. Now, the way that this is sold is that the car in pretty much any situation is able to park itself as long as it has a car on either side. So in a backing up situation or in a standard parking lot or in a parallel parking situation. Now, my car that I bought in September has the full self-drive, which means I'm meant to get every autonomous feature as it comes. And that's great. But since buying the car, I've only seen that uh, little logo for auto parking pop up a few times, one in a parallel parking situation and one just randomly as I was backing out of my driveway, it offered to auto park me into the rocks in my front landscaping. So obviously this feature seemed to be very much in a beta, but I have heard the rumor on the street is that after this last update that we got all these great things like one pedal driving and 5% increase in power and all of that, that now there is large improvements, even though they're not noted at all to the auto park features. So today, as I'm going out and about town, we're going to put these to the test in both kind of scenarios and see if uh, this feature is working great now. Since I'm out running errands anyways, this is actually going to be a pretty good real world test since there's going to be parking spots wherever I'm going. Now, the first one that we're going to do is going to be backing into a stall like normal, going between uh, you know a couple of cars in a normal pedestrian parking lot and seeing how the car does it. Because Previously, I wasn't getting any indications at all for parking logos. So we'll see what actually happens when uh, when it's put to the test. Okay, so I'm gonna crawl past a spot here on my on my right. That's between two cars, so I should have an indication here. No, nothing. Maybe if I put it in reverse, so it's not picking that one up, or maybe I will angle it out. So that it appears like, oh yeah, okay. So I've angled it out kind of like it knows I'm trying to park. And I did get my logo there. So shift into reverse. And everyone can see the spot there. And the spot we're going for is right behind us there. Kind of an awkward angle, but we will see what it does. So let's crank the wheel. Now this current trajectory, we would hit that other car. Okay, so it's correcting out. Now it actually showed the car's logo there being uh, totally kind of like sideways in the spot, but right now it feels perfect. So even though the indication was that it didn't park perfectly straight, if we open the door, we are, we're right in there and it's nice and even uh, the entire way across. So I would call that a successful auto park. Now that first time driving through the parking lot, there wasn't really a lot of indication that I was getting those symbols until I kind of angled the car to the position of a normal park. So almost like you're telling it, yes, I'm actually going to try attempting this and then the car gives you an indication. So now we're actually gonna head downtown to where there's more cars parked in a regular street environment. And uh, we're probably gonna get some good opportunities for a parallel park. Now, I've actually seen this work once when I first got the car. Uh, and I was really surprised to see it and it, it, it seemed to do it, but I have not actually seen the logo for it since. But of course, after this most recent update, uh, a lot of these systems were kind of improved in the background. So I will see now if I could find a perfect parallel park candidate. Now you'd think it would be easy <laughs> to find two cars that are spaced apart, but it is proving more difficult than ever uh, without a driveway, especially. Now I am, as you guys can see, I am getting the uh, parking logo actually coming up, which is great. This is way more than I've previously had it uh, pop up ever before. I think that we have a winner here. Parallel parking opportunity, but is the spot going to be big enough? Yeah, it looks like it's plenty large enough for the Model 3. Maybe the space is too generous and it just assumes that I should be able to pull it off myself. Oh, oh, here we go. So I, I pulled 
all the way past. So we're, we're, we're quite a bit back actually from where the spot is, but let's see what she does. Yeah, we're going for a parallel park and shift into reverse and start. Looking pretty good so far. Now that was pretty much gold and I'm very curious if the car can repeat it and have the same result again with another parallel park. Just gonna pull up nice and slow this time, keep it a bit, bit slower than I had before. And we'll see what we get here. So maybe there's just some finesse to making this work. Okay, here we go. Auto park is in progress. Now this is quite tight. Wow, amazing. This is quite a tight spot and it did it perfectly. So the key seems to be, in my experience so far here today, just moving a bit past the car that, uh, that, that's in front that you would think is normal and then you'll probably get the indication. Now overall here, I think we have a pretty good example of how this is functioning. I am really impressed, so we'll head back to the house and uh, draw some conclusions up. So where does that leave us with for auto park. Now, of course, when I bought the car, like I said at the beginning, it was not perfectly ready to go, more like a beta, but I would say it has advanced quite a bit. That was a, that was a good way to see it working. Out of the uh, six attempted parks, four worked correctly, and the two that did not work correctly were me kind of trying to pass stalls and getting it to trigger and it just not picking up the spot. So is it perfect? No, but I would say it is working and working well, and I can only assume that it's going to get better in the future. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. If this helped you with your uh, Tesla research, there's uh, one of those referral links. So we can both get supercharger miles in the description below. And besides that, just uh, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you back soon. Talk to you later.